So basically, these guys refuse to pay out, they refuse to accept responsibility, they passed it off as an ASEX issue. So here are the steps you need to take to get your money back. Head to AFCA, Australian Financial Complaints Authority, because going through the ComSec just doesn't work. These guys, it wouldn't surprise me if they have a directive to say that don't pay out anyone. Because if you pay out one person, you're going to have to pay them all out. Well, thankfully, we have a financial regulatory body, which pretty much will solve this issue very, very quickly. So click on make a complaint, scroll down, start the complaint process. I do recommend you read all this, um, but really this is just the quick rundown version of what I, the steps I took uh, to get my money back. So for me, it was just fill this out as ComSec. I've complained to the financial firm, which I have. You set the date on when you complained. Uh, tell them why or who you spoke to, particularly. Uh, in my case, I spoke to the trading floor. So trading floor manager and yada, 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 just type it all out. Uh, and I, I didn't receive any reply to my complaint and there are no legal proceedings against me in court. So they've not started anything. Click next. <coughs> Excuse me. Now this one was investments because it's got to do with shares. And then I just hit continue to next section. Um, and I hit other complaint because none of these really fit. So it wasn't anything to do with fees or charges. It was more of a service issue. It wasn't a financial advice. It wasn't a maybe, maybe service issue, but I hit complaint, right? Another complaint. Now, pre please provide a summary of your complaint. Uh, if you have supporting documents. Yeah, so I took screenshots. I took a lot of screenshots, right? I took everything from my trading um, account. Uh, where, where you go into ComSec, you can find the full details. I screenshotted everything. I screenshotted the chart. I showed them very clearly exactly where I entered, where I exited, and then I had the screenshots of the trade executions. So please provide a summary. Um, yeah, yeah, do that in your own time. Um, and yeah, put in your account number so ComSec know who you are. The AFCA will contact ComSec, so type in your trading account number. Uh, whether it's your, I don't think it's your CDIA account, but you should be able to find your account number pretty, pretty easily. Now, if you've lodged this complaint, no, I haven't lodged it anywhere else. So I'm seeking compensation, right? So how much, uh, I know how much I'm seeking because I did the calculations from when I put in my order, my 13 cent order, to my 18, what was it? I ended up, sorry, at 0 0.88 cents or something like that. So I specifically was targeting 1697 or something like that. I calculated it. I, I, I think it was fair and reasonable because that's exactly how much I lost. I probably could have put more money in there. I, I don't know, but look, I'm not trying to make money off this. I'm just trying to get what's owed to me. Uh, why do you think it's fair and reasonable? Well, you can make your justification there. Uh, pretty much, I just said, look, that's the difference. It's the factual difference between what I was trying to sell at and could have sold at versus what I actually sold at. So it's a pretty straightforward thing for me. I'm lodging this complaint for myself. Fill out your details. And then once you complete this section, you'll be taken to uh, a section where you can attach files and stuff like that. So I'll just quickly bring up where you can go in ComSec to get those details. So guys, when you log into ComSec, you want to click on trading, manage orders, and then view executed orders. So you don't want confirmations, you want view executed orders. And then you want to click on action here and click on view. So you want to see the stock that is relevant to where you lost money. In this case, it was this, this one here. Now, when you click on view, you'll be sent to the order details. And these are the, this is the screenshot I took, sorry. This is the screenshot I took and sent to AFCA as an attachment, along with a chart of DVL at the time, which is where I lost money. And it shows quite clearly here, um, 13 cents for DVL was when I put my instruction. I had to amend it 8.5, and they're very well aware that this is where they had to execute manually. And this is where I based my reimbursement, basically. This is, this is how I justified my reimbursement, because I lost money. This is $1,700 here. It's all in this screenshot. So guys, just attach the relevant stocks where you lost money based on Comsex processing times, and it shouldn't be a problem to get your money back. Now, this is the email that I got from Comsec. And look, AFCA, AFCA will take two days to process your complaint. So it's very quick, actually. I was very impressed by how quick that was. 
And it took two days, within two days for Comsec to get back to me. They called me up and said, look, we're just acknowledging we've got your complaint. Uh, and they, they have a month, I think, to resolve it. And uh, it took about another day or two after that phone call for them to actually send me this email to confirm that I'm getting my money back or that I'm willing to accept their offer. So you're, you're happy to read this in your own time. I'm not going to read it out, but I will scroll down and I will highlight this key point here. The, 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 I would like to draw your attention to this particular clause of our terms and conditions. Now, this is the bullshit that they'll fucking pull on every single one of you if you call Comsec directly. This is the bullshit that they'll refer to. 19A. You acknowledge that we'll make all reasonable attempts to enter your instructions to buy and sell security as quickly as possible. However, however, should delays be experienced, and then section 3, due to delays resulting from call times or adherence to internal procedures, we will not be liable for any claims for lost opportunity. Now, this is a bullshit statement, right? 25 minute processing time, of course they're responsible for that. Of course they are. Now, what they're not showing you in this screenshot here is the, the sentence that says, to the extent of the law, right? So to the extent of the law, they will not deal with that or they'll not take responsibility. But uh, look, it's quite clearly a ComSec issue. Quite clearly, this is not a legal um, situation where they have any grounds, right? They can't take this to court and say, look, following our terms and conditions it's not reasonable right these terms and conditions might apply if they're like a few seconds late or maybe one minute late and you know where they've made all reasonable attempts but 25 minutes is not acceptable so this is what you guys would have had to dealt with on the phone they would have referred you to this particular term and condition but it's bullshit right it's it's no less bullshit than when you're getting sacked from work and there's a little little sentence in probably everyone's employment agreement that says we can change the terms and the terms and conditions or whatever within this employment clause at any time for any reason. And look, that doesn't hold up in court. It's just a way to sack people unfairly. And this is no different. Right? This is a way for them to just dodge responsibility uh, and, and just hope that you'll just bend over backwards and take it. Just, just bend over, mate. Pull your pants down. Take the loss. It's not our responsibility. That's pretty much what that is. Now, of course, down here, they send you this, this, this horse shit excuse of, we appreciate that you're a valued client of Comsec. Now, they don't give a shit. I am a drop in the ocean in terms of money for them, so they don't really care. Um, but however, they are willing to accept the claim that I processed because taking this further through AFCA will be a, a nightmare for them. So of course, they want to sort it out as quickly as possible. And obviously, they're fully aware that they are responsible for the financial losses. So guys, I hope you take these steps. I, I hope you go through this process if you've lost out money because of Comsex issues. Now, if you do find this video useful, please do hit that subscribe button. That'd be much appreciated. And uh, look, hit me up on Patreon if you get your money back. 